Kiss and City's Robert Buckland uh, are going to be the big voices today. While Mark Mobius feels that demonetization is not the most effective way to deal with black money, uh, Buckland says that they have moved to an underweight on emerging markets. The purpose is very noble. They want to attack corruption and that's fine. I'm afraid this is not the way to do it. Uh, because the big fish usually know what's coming and they can get away. And as you know, if you look at all the ways that people are getting around this, uh, you'll find that it's not going to be that effective at the end of the day. And of course, it inconveniences a lot of the, the small shopkeepers and other people. So it's really unfortunate that they took this route. I think it would have been better uh, to take another route to attack corruption. But in any case, it's done. And I think it will have an impact on economic growth, maybe half a percent uh, less than what you would expect. We as a house at City were dollar bears before Trump won. We're now dollar bulls. We as a house at City were US Treasury bulls prior to Trump winning. We're now US Treasury bears. So we've completely changed our views. And the, the knock through implication of that for you guys in emerging markets is in general, my clients sell emerging markets when the dollar's going up, and my clients buy emerging markets when the dollar's going down. So it's been a change for us, and we've moved emerging markets from an overweight recommendation to an underweight recommendation as a result. Well, I must uh, tell you very quickly,